Yeah, the goal of this discussion was uh, to have a first and maybe the last physical meeting between the DEPCON for global team and the Swiss local team, if ever this, this distinction makes sense. Um, Gardens has prepared a small agenda, and I think we should just go ahead with the discussion with although, these points. Yeah, although I don't like to be up here, I think it's just the most <laughs> comfortable thing to be able to type. I mean, what, do you want my microphone? Or no. You? Uh, if, you, if you're taking notes, maybe you should use, uh, wear the... I'm not sure if we need to have this on video. But Maybe not. We have people on the camera, so it's easy. <laughs> it's okay, but the point of the whole thing was that I don't have to lead the discussion, so I have time to type actually something. Well, I, I can lead the discussion if you want, but just, I, I, it's the first time ever I read this copy, so <laughs> just go ahead. Yeah, so, um, I don't know if we need an introduction of who one is. There was, earlier in the week, there was some confusion who is part of the Swiss local team, so I thought that might be good to have, but I know probably everyone knows everybody. I, okay, so that's done. <laughs> and It was said that Gunnar is uh, Spanish-speaking French, uh, Swiss. I don't know how, but I always end up being the, the local global something. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So next we wanted to discuss the expectations. Um, well, I don't know what you mean by that, so just go ahead, you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, most of the disagreements or tension that has been between gl the global team and the Swiss local team is that we had quite a big amount of meetings in Switzerland face to face that were not IRC recorded, that were not videotaped, and that were that mostly ended up in a big pile of wiki commits, wiki pages with many organization ideas and or implementations and stuff and I guess this is the time and place to have this resolved so that we can go ahead in a common common understanding I think um, so I guess we just we should just start with the communication and meetings sub point um, <laughs> um, well, we, we decided on, the, on part of the Swiss team, we decided that it was valuable for us to have many face-to-face -face meetings and it, it effectively proved to be quite useful, at least uh, for some, <laughs> in some opinion. Um, the question is now if uh, we are entitled to continue to do this, if it makes sense to have this, this only localish uh, meetings still happening. If we should do more IRC meetings, we have also tried to do some mumble meetings. Um, and all in all, the thing was quite going quite well, but despite Switzerland being quite small, it still might end up in two hours of train to go to the meeting and two hours back uh, for some people. Opinions? <laughs> I mean, it's good to have local meetings. It's uh, I, I think you can do a great job if you can meet face to face. But yeah, I, I, I don't know how often do you want them to be. Uh, I mean, I think it's completely up to you. Uh, there, it's good if for us if, if we have the meetings where we can participate. But I understand many things still have not required uh, involvement from uh, people outside the country or can be just reported. Uh, but I know. Yeah, I don't think that there's no problem at all with having local meetings. It's a positive thing. Um, once It also depends partly on the stage we are at of the DEPCON process, that it's, it's completely natural in the early stages, especially when the non-local people don't really have time to focus on the local issues and as you get towards DevConf itself it kind of becomes natural again to have crisis meetings about 
solving local things quickly and so on. But DebConf is part of Debian, so it's good as well if we can use some of the standard ways that Debian works, which includes trying to be as open as possible and inclusive as possible for who can be in things, which tends to mean things like RSE meetings just because even if it's inconvenient for people to get up at some funny time of the night, there will be people who will be, the, be at the IRC meeting at two in the morning or at six in the morning because they want to keep what, hear what's happening. Just reacting to this, uh, although I, I quite agree <laughs> in the DevConf 12, uh, the, IRC, the repetition of IRC meetings was decided during an IRC meeting. And I mean, we should just send out call for dates or something or discussion in an, a mailing list because if I was not to be able to attend on a certain week, then it's, in my case, it was just because I could not attend that day all week. So I ended up not being able to attend any meetings just because, you know, real life. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think what, what I was, what my vision a bit of how we should work together is that we kind of keep having local meetings in whatever form, maybe sometimes face to face, maybe not. If it's in a form that's convenient for the global team to also attend, um, yeah, <laughs> or for non-local globals to <laughs> also attend, um, then the better. And that we should really be aware and maybe even prepare a list of things that have to be coordinated in globally and then there to work on proposals to the mailing list. I think in the, in the first phase until next year probably, um, many things can be done like um, having a proposal and discuss that on the mailing list. Um, yeah, so I think everybody here realizes how little I've actually participated in DevConf organizations, so I don't need to tell you to take what, anything I might say and recommend as, with a grain of salt. But as far as the consideration about, the concerns about um, having meetings that the global team can't involved in, I, th I feel like that's a proxy for problems where people manage to become desynced about what requirements and goals actually are. And so it's much more important to try to externalize those and perhaps that word expectations. Um, externalize what it is you're trying to achieve and have, have good documentation that the, the knowledge is shared that basically everybody's on the same page even if they can't be in the same place in real time. Um, I think uh, I would like to see DebConf do more of that, and in fact, that's actually one way I'm hoping to get involved in the DebConf organization this cycle, um, in part because sometime in the future, we may or may not actually consider doing a Portland bid, um, and I would love to actually have, uh, it's, it's important not only for knowledge sharing across um, time zones for a current team, but also for carrying the knowledge forward between years, um, and I know you guys have, have certainly tried to do that in the past, but I would just encourage more of the same. Can you just clarify what you mean in practice? Yeah. I'm not sure what yours is. Clarify what I mean in practice. So like, is there, agree, is there documentation out there that says what the, what the hard requirements are for? That's the point that was skipped on the agenda before. <laughs> no, yeah, there, there is some documentation answering to your question. Uh, we have managed to make it to make several of our uh, workflows uh, written and uh, we follow them. Of course, several others we have <laughs> never <laughs> written and we should. But yeah, uh, this point we skipped that uh, was now brought back to attention. Thank you. Uh, one of the points we want to work uh, after uh, finishing this conference uh, is to start making a manual for it, to, to, have, uh, to have it uh, organized in a, co a coherent way. Yes, exactly my point. work on this manual has started. There is, there's wiki manual pages for a certain aspect. There's some missing, but there's many things described. So it's not really On great. the specific point about the meetings again, yeah. just normally at this kind of stage, we, ha we have monthly IRC meetings of the global team, which means everyone, including local team. It is perfectly natural that the lo local team, so-called, want to have extra meetings or discuss things and so on. But although it's, I know it will be boring for the local team, it's boring every year, that 
you have to have these other meetings too and you may feel you've already covered things or you may feel frustrated that you can't, have, can't make a proper decision until that meeting, but that's kind of the reality that this is Debian's money we're talking about spending. There has to be some kind of process and structure on that. I mean, the way yeah. DebConf works is not purely that we take a different group of people each year and give them direct control. There is a more um, continued structure than that. Um, I mean, one thing that would be interesting to know, we had these meetings, we always sent, uh, or mostly send agendas and always send minutes. Did you find this helpful? Did you feel somehow excluded from certain decisions? And if yes, which ones do you think? We, we already tried, but we're learning um, which decisions we can take on our own locally and which decisions uh, that need to be coordinated globally. Well, as uh, for my for, uh, from my point of view, and back to the point where I was surprisingly given a microphone I didn't request, uh, well, uh, not only having a physical meeting takes uh, time for you, but it also takes money. You have to travel by train, which is, well, maybe cheap, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I found uh, your minutes very helpful, very important to understand what what's the status and the and what can we expect? Uh, I, don't, I must say I don't always uh, read it uh, thoroughly, especially now that we have the pressure to work on what's really burning. Uh, but yes, uh, I, I, I think uh, we, there will, whatever we decide here, whatever we say, there will be a complementation. I mean, you will keep having some meetings, even if most of the work is done by IRC, and I think it makes uh, a lot of sense uh, for most of local decisions to do them online if you live in different cities, if you have to travel, well, uh, it's just uh, uh, not wasting time, but, clo but close to it. Yeah, well, uh, one thing that we did that was probably the most controversial and the probably the most twist was this division and sub, sub, sub teams um, in the end, my, convic my conviction, are, after having also seen what happens here, is that, of course, there is a global network team, but on the other hand, of course, there is a need of local people handling the, if there is fiber there, that takes the contacts with the local people, and that makes sure that when the global network team enters that camp, there is something to work on. And, I mean, yeah, there is, I mean, we also have to, to work this on and the process and the teams also have to evolve to match what will in the end be the reality. And I mean, it's, yeah. Do you think uh, that uh, we should uh, consider using, uh, 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 how do you say this, collaboration software where you keep track of the advance of several tasks? It may be the right uh, team to do it because it requires being very organized. But, uh, but it can help giving an overview of uh, what's missing. Well, one thing we did on the wiki was sort of some sort of global planning that includes all the preparation meetings until DebConf. We wanted, or we at least had the idea, of having a weekend that is a side of team building but side of working uh, that would be useful to have before DebConf and including the feedback process to have after DebConf. I mean, one or two months after uh, we just gather together in one one weekend, we make sure we finish the final report, that we send this out, we do some sort of meeting to discuss what went well, what, what didn't went well, also to have to give us something for the next years too. And some this, some sort of task repartition across time and what should be done when, is which we somehow did it on our own on the wiki, but it could I mean, if we had some sort of task management system or I don't know what scheduling thing that would allow also allow others than us to see, okay, we are in this, this is the task that is late and this is the uh, next coming task. Um, I know this, this is quite a lot of bureaucracy, certainly, but on the other hand, it can bring some clarity in what's happening, what are, but yeah, it's an open question. I'm not completely sold on us trying to use some specific piece of software for this. However, one of the things that I have on my to-do list, and I would be very happy if people could work together to do, 
is compiling from effectively from minutes and so on of previous years, what happens at what stage and so on, because um, we kind of have, we hope some of us kind of know this in our heads anyway, but it would clearly be sensible to have this written down. Obviously, there'll be in practice some divergence each year. You won't precisely get the t-shirts printed the same date and so on. But it, even, for thing, even for things like that, it would make sense to have written down a date. We expect this to be done roughly this time before DevConf and so on. Um, I think there's a lot of benefit from that. The additional benefit from a particular piece of software may be outweighed by the fact we're all geeks and have different views about what's good software and so on. So, yeah. yeah, just to put the, I mean, ignoring the software, um, but looking at the, the process, I mean, my feeling is there needs to be um, some template, of like a, almost like a business plan or a project plan, um, whether that's mapped with some software or some database or a spreadsheet is not so important, but the, the high level, the global meetings will work on the template itself and on the business plan. And the local team can fill in the gaps, like the local knowledge that needs to be added, like to, that, to answer the open questions in such a plan. And the, um, the global team would simply review those answers. So that, that's where the local team would, would step in because that business plan would ideally be reusable as a template from year to year. I don't know what we have at the moment, or, but from what I've heard, there, there were things that people were not sure about until the last minute at this conference. So. Um, okay. Uh, I kind of agree and disagree at the same time. I kind of agree and we have done like a plan with milestones when we will have, would, would like to have done what over the, but it's very coarse grained. Yeah, I think it would and be nice if we did this as a global team, not just Swiss people yeah. doing it. I mean, that was a proposal. It's, I think the thing about our minutes is always also to gather comments from the global team or from the whole DevConf team. That's why they're sent there. So if you have to, or also for the agenda, if you have to say something about it, then just say it on the list. and. The other thing is what I would really, really like to avoid in what I think is also in the spirit of this merging global and local team and just rather talking about them having locals in the DevConf team that's by the def definition global um, is that there's a thing of global managers overseeing a local team. I don't, are you saying, I don't understand what, yeah, one interpretation of what Daniel said could also be there's a globe, a team of global managers that just oversees and directs a local team, and I think that's something that should really be avoided. In some, I, I probably agree with you, but I equally a different interpretation of what you're saying is true. <laughs> um, in that it is not, a, again, it's not about global versus local people, no. But it is true, from my point of view, that the global team meetings and global IRS, um, email lists and so on are what make final decisions. The local team in this is not, is not about penalizing the local team. It's exactly the same, say, for video team. These are the same relationship to the global team. The local team is people focused on local issues. The video team is people focused on video. But just because the video team, they clearly know much more about video, they've got a better idea, they know how to spend the budget, but still at some point that decision comes to a full meeting of the entire team which approves it. Yeah, and, and on the other hand, I think we should also keep the duocracy spirit of Debian. So finally it's those doing the work, doing it. But again, the people who the local team are also part of that decision making yeah. about at the, at the global level. It's not A versus B. It's just that some level of decisions, which clearly there's a kind of slightly grayness about what is a sufficient decision or whatever, but some things are things like actually agreeing the money you're spending are the practices they are agreed by the global team. Just to, just to respond to that issue of whether it's a global team managing or directing the local team, that, that's not what I intended. Okay. But what I intended was to capture the things that, that everyone expects as participants in DevConf. Um, because that's, that's what makes the event a success, is all the participants, not just the people organizing the event. It's, it's everyone comes here with different expectations and capturing those expectations in in a in a plan 
that can be cookie cuttered into any country that doesn't have specific things about what food we will eat or what internet company we're going to use or anything else. It'll just have some very broad things. Um, and then the local team would show the initiative to fill in those gaps. Like to give an example, it might specify there has to be 10 megabits um, internet connection or something. It won't say how it has to be obtained or anything else. And the local team could even come back and say, oh, we have 100 megabits. And, you know, it's wonderful. Um, but the, um, there wouldn't necessarily be dates on things for that have to be fixed from year to year. The local team would you know, put that in as well. Um, so it would just be a review process with the global team. That, that's all I was getting at, not some sort of dictatorial approach from the top down. Right. So two things. The first is um, we had to go through these, uh, through the checklist. And the checklist has most of this, I mean, the 10 megabits thing, the thing that you have to host attendees and stuff. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is it has been quite frustrating for me when after we did this planning, the answer we got is you should not have done this. While uh, you should not have done this, this should have done differently. And it was frustrating for me because I would ha rather have appreciated some sort of answer like, uh, you have done work, that's good, uh, we thank you for this work and now we can base something on and we can benefit from this uh, energy. And yeah, I, w I wish we would have found a better way to use our energy and also use a feedback process to have future uses of our energy better than just being just turned down for everything we, well not everything, but for some things we did that were just turned down into okay, you have just spent the night for nothing and this should not have done, been done. And yeah, it's just frustrating. Can you, get, can you give an example for that? Well, uh, at least the division in, in sub-teams and the agenda was just mentioned. I don't know if it's, it was directly written or IRC comments by some or it said here, but it's been my feeling that it has been turned down that way. And maybe it's just me. Sensible if the local team divides itself into several groups and works on different things, and not everybody works on everything. Yeah, so I have not seen it really turned down. This I, I don't. But I didn't see it that strongly as um, Didier put it now. But I, I, I had somewhat the same feeling that also this um, joking about the Swiss somehow got a bit into your too much focused on your thing or uh, had some component that could just take a bit the enthusiasm out of what we are doing. And I think that you probably also have to be aware to avoid that. Well, uh, well we, you, for many of us, yeah, a, a big problem we have is a, a misunderstanding socially what we, what each other, uh, what we say uh, when we speak. I mean, uh, here we are, everybody is stressed with, with his uh, very specific uh, field of uh, focus. Uh, say, right now I am very happy because uh, nobody is scheduling things anymore. But I, I, I see this guy was almost killing uh, somebody in, <laughs> very recently. Uh, uh, but, and uh, yeah, this, uh, there's always jokes on the locals. I mean, uh, I can probably tell you the tagline for each conference we have been to. And it's always a joke on the locals. I, I know it can be uh, some, sometimes frustrating to be stereotyped, but uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we, we don't hate you. <laughs> no, what, this <laughs> <laughs> what this year was quite unexpected for me um, was that you already worked on DEPCONF 13 before we'd finished DEPCONF 12. Mm -hmm. This has hardly ha ever happened, as definitely not in this in the same impact you had. You made yeah. many things. I have not read most of your meeting agendas because yeah. I was busy with others. I stuff. think that's part of the problem. That's just I, I think that's partly why you don't feel a more appreciation of these from us because to we're kind of, there's so much information no, here. I, I don't think that and this the would have been a problem in <laughs> the sense that if it was just have been ignored, but more like, um, Yeah, finish.
Okay. And the other part I wanted to say is that I think that there is a lot of documentation which surely can be improved, but I think the, the hard part is that um, writing the documentation can only do the people who know the stuff, and those people who know the stuff are busy doing the stuff. So th that's the usual problem, and I would appreciate if the local teams, or the, the, the not the local team, the current team, that somebody in that team writes documentation. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah, you I have think to that you have to go that's to that something because to, to um, try to try hard to do this cycle. That every step we take, we also try to write uh, according the manual page for this, or afterwards. That should. I think that's something that local and globals and whoever just have to do equally. Well, something we have to try this time is that. Uh, it's usual that we are all burned by the end of the conference, but we should not take this uh, six-month vacation. Yeah. We have a lot of things to do before six months. And sponsorship, uh, uh, yeah. the, uh, the conference management system, the, the documentation, final report, we have to do it before you're interrupting in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I finished. No, I only point to the sponsorship because um, that's something we have always done much too late in the last few years. And it, that's part of the reason that we've not got more money and we need a lot more money for Switzerland. So it is very important. Um, yeah, I think we've almost covered this topic. Something more on the practical side. Um, there was a suggestion that we could, I don't know if already now or rather in uh, autumn merge the local team and um, DebConf team mailing list because they're all on English anyway. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a good idea? I, I considered the question and I wonder if it's really, s I mean, it's also good, may, may, well, maybe there will be some local noise uh, about discussing network, blah, 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 uh, specifics that are specific to Vomarku and Leco and the venue, and I, that wouldn't be, I mean, the only thing I, I, I fear with that is to have people disconnect from DebConf team because there's too much local noise. Uh, I mean, if that's also the sponsoring um, mailing list, then various other things. Okay, then yeah. yeah, why not? I think nothing that's uh, related to the conditions of the venue we will have is off topic for DebConf team. I don't think the local traffic will be too high. It, it, it's often uh, much the contrary. Uh, yes, of course, uh, the, the sponsors uh, thing requires a very different following. I think the sponsors uh, sh uh, is not uh, the material to go to the to the main uh, team yeah. list. But uh, I think for the fundraising, only preparing the brochure and the material that we will send them is on topic on team, and afterwards it needs to be a bit more private, probably. Uh, as far as I know, it's done that in previous that way in previous. On the, just to be clear, on the question about documenting things, again, I think there was some, some people were um, discouraged a little bit, I think, again, in the opposite direction from the Swiss team minutes, where it appeared that things were being discussed kind of from first, first principles as if, the, um, as if there was not an existing experience on these topics. And, while I, while I would entirely agree many things may be able to be much improved and done better, I think it's a little in the other direction. It's also not really appreciative of previous, say if we say we really would just throw away the existing video team and do it differently. It's not really appreciating the previous work, even if someone has a better idea. It's better to discuss these things with the teams in question first, even before posting to the list a, a really strong proposal on a different thing. I mean. I think in both directions there's a question of making sure everyone understands that they, we all do appreciate each other's work. Yep. One idea that's probably new, we also had, that's the last point on the communication meetings um, <coughs> topic, is that we would like to invite everyone from DebCon team that wants to attend to kind of a sprint probably five months before DebConf or something, which could even be held in 
at LeComp in, in Walmarki or, so, or somewhere different that, so that we have a second time from in the middle between now and DevConf 13 to meet in person again. What do you think about this idea? It has been great. It has been done for two years uh, already. I mean, uh, they went to Bosnia uh, some months before the conference. We too came to Managua in May. I think it helped a lot to get communications really rolling with the local team, especially there that we didn't uh, know each other for years beforehand. But uh, uh, it helps a lot to get a good overview of the situation and uh, changes many things. I'm completely for it. Of course, it doesn't uh, make any sense to, for everybody to travel. For example, I don't think uh, there's any uh, justification for me traveling to Switzerland just to see if you're doing well. Yeah, I, I think that should be handled by a similar process as we do travel sponsorship now. Um, so, yeah, if we have money enough to bring you to your the better, but yeah, maybe. Um, another thing I see just from above is the hard to reach consensus on lists. Mm, that's also a thing we have been discussing uh, in the local meetings. Um, no, but that <laughs> it might it might end up that we have to take decisions, and it's not really clear, at least not for me, who does the final decision in for what amount of money. I mean, if it's uh, Debian TH has some assets that could be used for something that is Debian money, that blah blah. blah I mean, it's turning around the leader running um, and yeah it's, there are some stuff that we might end up paying as debconf money or as debian money and it's not really clear who can decide this and yeah oh again open a open question yeah but didn't we more or less solve that in the meeting we just had outside yes but everyone agreed <laughs> just just yeah uh, the meeting we have some some days ago, right? Yeah, well, I think by now, at least as I see it, everyone agrees to the idea that we have a budget approved by the DPL and then we're uh, allowed to spend money according to this budget. Well, yeah. right, the, and well, this year, and I think that's a good practice to, to keep, we agreed on some uh, thresholds uh, so as not to require every expense to be uh, individually approved by the uh, authorized people. I mean, this time, for example, every expense less than $50 can be done by a, a local team member. Yeah. So something like that, uh, of course, with the levels adjusted to the money we have and the expense, uh, how expensive life is in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Well, we reach uh, some levels and that will be... Yeah. I, I mean, I, what I just said still leaves the question open then within the DEPCONF team, we, who decides to actually spend something that is within the budget? Uh, I think, for example, if there is a decision that has to be made, uh, if, the, if this uh, thing that captures the VGA out and makes it to video, it breaks, I, I, I don't know about it, I will not uh, care to approve it, but uh, I know the people in the video team will. I don't think the people in the video team should approve it. You? No, I think this should be a team decision. And it's um, they're like the whole budget, I, I, would, I don't think it's right what Gaudan said, that the DPL decides or agrees on the budget. The, the, um, the team, the global team decides on the budget. And we also because we don't spend Debian money there. We spend sponsors money, which we have acquired to get Debian. And so the the DEPCONF meeting decides about the budget for which this DEPCONF is planned. If we need like this year 10 or 20,000 euros from Debian, then the DPL decides about this budget. But DEPCONF um, works independently. Yeah. Or not independently, it works on its own. Uh, besides this question, I just take the opportunity to have the microphone. Um, one thing that we could do is also do a partial responsibilities budget. I mean, we could just agree, globally agree that, well, there are 20K for video, and this person is entitled to uh, spend that money until we reach 20K. And after that, it, he comes back to the meeting, to the global team and asks more for more if needed. I think that's obvious that we don't micromanage people. If you say people should buy, get food, and we spend 2,000 euros or whatever sum, 
then I don't want to define where to put, where to buy the stuff. Right? So yeah, yeah, I mean that that was more or less what I, I was meaning. Uh, we know which people are uh, working on which uh, er uh, general areas. So the uh, the, the people, uh, I don't think we uh, we as a whole team have to go to every decision. Uh, of course, if we're buying expensive equipment, yeah, it's uh, more involved, but. But again, making the delegation, the budget delegations explicit are way better than just saying we every everyone knows here who is the video guy. Uh, I mean, if it's written somewhere that Holger is the video guy, it's better for everyone, I think. Or whoever else. Except for me. Yeah, I think at least in the money meeting we had, um, the proposal was a bit more like um, having an organization in Switzerland that organizes DevConf and having an agreement between this organization and um, Debian that basically says this organization will organize DevConf on behalf of Debian and then the money flow is more or less, it's DevConf is done with Debian money and this organization is going to invoice the Debian trusted organization on based on the reason organizing DevConf and not for individual things like we bought that and that or we spent whatever um, on it. And that's a bit, yeah, just to respond to Holger, I think that's more on the level that there as at least was an understanding that all the money is actual Debian money and there's no such thing as this is DevConf money. DevConf is part of Debian, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So it, yeah, there is DevConf money, it's just, it's also Debian money. There could also be DI money, if DI, the DI team decides to collect money to do foo. So it, it's the, their money within Debian. So it's also, the DevConf money yeah. is Debian money within Debian. Well, it's just, uh, it's just in the DevConf budget, it's all yeah. Debian uh, money. Yeah, that's, uh, I agree, fully agree to that. It's, yeah. And I mean, it, the time is out, I see that. I kind of would like one to do one last thing and that's um, to, to create a list of um, where there is the most global, local overlap. Where do we really have to be cautious to work together and not to do, global or local decisions alone. I uh, think, I think th that I think might there is be no helpful. Deciding why there is no local team. There's just one global team deciding it. And the global, yeah, there the global are things team that it's where it's really local. not helpful to have, uh, to go to all the global overhead all over again and yeah, again. I, I understand there are some things that are yeah. somewhat trivial. So, but we, don't, we cannot set a red line no, and say, uh, just because it's not possible to have a definite list for mm -hmm. uh, the whole time and everything and all doesn't, at least to me, not mean that it's not helpful to have some things collected where we should really pay attention. I mean, and you and can I of think course we can do that off video and whatever. Each of us can uh, pr uh, perfectly comment on DevConf related things by private IRC with whatever, uh, whoever else and we're not hiding information from the rest of the team. I mean. If you work on some things locally, of course, you, you, you will have some information the others don't have. But uh, if it's not something relevant to comment, I see no problem. Um, but can, in that case, can we agree on tr trial and error? I mean, for example, the logo process is quite running somehow locally these days. And we were somehow planning to decide the final logo on our own. Um, I mean, that could perfectly be debatable and we could perfectly bring the decision to global team. Um, but we could also just go ahead and then if there's a problem, then we get the red flag and we try to improve. I don't I know. I think this will end a lot when you switch the, lo the um, local team mailing list to DevConf team. Then we will just discuss it in the team. I, I think th the mailing list and the IRC meetings are the body where we yeah, make but decisions. There will be also face-to-face -face meetings continue. Yes, we but don't, don't expect them to be binding for the global team. You can discuss anything you want anywhere, but don't expect that to be binding for the global yeah. team. Um, for the team. 
Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Part, and part, maybe part of the question here as well is just having too much of a view of any decision being absolutely final. Actually, in DevConf, no decision really is ever a, a final decision until DevConf is finished. Rough consensu consensus and working DevConf. Yeah. So, I mean, all decisions may have to be, because it's a real event we're doing, yeah. all, all decisions may have I to be revisited. It's I not mean, just because of someone else. We can try that. I kind of fear that it's going to be quite frustrating for some, for uh, several issues. Because it's just um, hindering work, but yeah. It's very, it's, to me it seems quite complicated, but yeah. 